Hello friends, so in this video we are going to study the complex algebra method. Okay, so before going to start with this complex algebra method, I will give some introduction about this complex algebra method. So in earlier video we are we have studied that what is mean by the kinematic analysis. So kinematic analysis is nothing but all it is the branch of theory of machine which deals with the study of motion. So in order to study the motion of the mechanism there are two types of method so first one is a graphical method and second one is a analytical method so in previous video we have studied about the analytical method so first analytical method is a analytical method for the analysis of the slider crank mechanism okay second method is a complex algebra method and third method is a vector algebra method so these three methods are the analytical method for the kinematic analysis of the mechanism kinematic analysis is nothing but what we have to study the motion of the different parts of the mechanism okay so now in this video we are going to study the second method that is second analytical method that is complex algebra method okay before going to start with this complex algebra method you must know the what is a complex number so complex number is nothing but what it is a number which consists of the real term and the imaginary term okay so we have to consider the link in terms of vector form and from that you have to write down the complex number of that vector form and we can do the from by by using that vector form and complex form we can find out the velocity and ac acceleration of the link okay so we'll see the what is this complex algebra method okay so for that we will consider this link om consider this link om which have the magnitude r and which is which is at an angle of theta with respect to this real axis as we are considering the complex algebra method you have to consider these two axis that is real axis and imaginary axis that is real number and imaginary number okay in order to do the velocity and acceleration analysis of this link om you have to write down the position vector of this om okay so this link om so you can write down it in a vector form okay vector is nothing but what which have the magnitude as well as direction so in this case this link om will have the magnitude of r and its direction is theta its direction is theta okay so you can write down its vector form okay so vector form will be what r at an angle of theta okay if you write if you want to write its polar form in complex variable you, if you want to write down the polar form in complex variable so that will be what m vector is equal to r into e raised to i theta so this will be the polar form of the position vector of this link om okay so this is a polar form of this om link okay so in this case whatever this in this equation whatever this r is magnitude of vector om okay because vector will have the magnitude as well as direction so in this case whatever this r is nothing but what magnitude of vector om and whatever this theta so theta is nothing but what the direction with respect to the real axis so whatever this r is nothing but what the magnitude of this position vector om and this theta is nothing but what the direction of this link om with respect to this real axis okay so this will be what the position vector of link om so which is nothing but what r into e raised to i theta okay so in order to find out the velocity and acceleration you have to differentiate this position vector with respect to time okay where is this i is nothing but what imaginary number so in order to find out this velocity you have to differentiate this position vector with respect to time so you can write this equation like this way velocity of m with respect to o that is velocity of this link m with respect to o so that will be equal to a d by dt of m vector okay so m vector is nothing but what r into e raised to i theta so this is a position vector of link om so you have to differentiate this equation this uh, position vector with respect to time so you will get d by dt multiplied by r into e raised to i theta so we have to take the differentiation of this term with respect to time okay now whatever this r r is nothing but what the magnitude of vector om or you can consider the magnitude of this link om so which will be the constant so that will be outside the derivative sign so 
this will come outside the derivative sign so r into d by dt of e raise to i theta okay now we have to take the derivative of this e raise to i theta so derivative of e raise to x is nothing but dot e raise to x so you can write r into bracket so derivative of e raise to i theta so e raise to i theta multiply by d by dt of you have to take the derivative of this term also that is i into theta so d by dt of i into theta so in this case also whatever this i is a constant so that will be outside the derivative sign okay and you have to consider the derivative of this theta so derivative of this theta will be what d theta upon dt so as we know that whatever this d theta upon dt is nothing but dot omega the rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time is nothing but dot the angular velocity so you can write this equation like this way r into d theta upon dt that is omega multiply by i into e raise to i theta so here i is remaining keep in mind here i is remaining so equation will be like this way r into omega into i into e raise to i theta okay now in case of polar form i into e raise to i theta is nothing but dot e raise to i into theta plus phi by 2 in order to eliminate this i i am again i am repeating here i is remaining so here the term is what i into e raise to i theta so in case of complex number this i into e raise to i theta is nothing but what e raise to i into theta plus phi by 2 okay so this equation will become like this way so velocity of m with respect to o will be equal to what r into omega into the bracket e into e raise to i into theta plus phi by 2 so this will be the velocity vector of this link o m so we have find out this equation by using this position vector of o m okay so this will be the velocity vector now we have to plot this in this real axis and imaginary axis term so whatever this o m is a position vector of link o m okay which is at an angle of theta now if we consider this equation whatever this r into omega see this r into omega is nothing but what the magnitude of velocity of m with respect to o and whatever this theta plus pi by 2 so this will be the angle of this velocity vector this theta plus pi by 2 is nothing but what this is an angle of this velocity vector now if i consider this theta so this theta is nothing but what angle of position vector o m plus pi by 2 means what from this om position vector velocity is 90 degree ahead means what this velocity vector is always perpendicular to this position vector okay again i am repeating whatever this theta plus pi by 2 is nothing but what it is a direction of velocity vector of link m o okay so whatever this m o whatever this the position vector of this m o is at an angle theta okay now if I consider this angle, this angle is how much? Theta plus pi by 2. So this angle corresponds to velocity vector. Now if I consider this theta, so this will be the position vector OM. Okay, plus pi by 2 means what? It will be 90 degree ahead. So this will be 90 degree ahead from this position vector. So keep in mind, the velocity vector is always perpendicular to the position vector okay so from that you can draw this diagram so whatever this om is a position vector and whatever this line is nothing but what the velocity vector of m o which is 90 degree ahead from this position vector okay once you find out the velocity you can find out the acceleration also so in order to find out the acceleration of this link om you have to consider this equation okay so acceleration is nothing but what rate of change of velocity so acceleration of m with respect to o which will be equal to d by dt of velocity of m with respect to o so put the value of velocity of m with respect to o so its value will be what r into omega into e raise to i theta plus pi by 2 so put this value here so you will get this equation acceleration of m with respect to o will be equal to d by dt of r into omega e raise to i theta plus pi by 2 okay now we have to differentiate this equation now in this case whatever this r is constant so that will be outside the derivative sign so we have, we have right here so r into d by dt of so remaining term is what omega into e raise to i theta plus pi by 2 as we have taken this r outside the derivative sign okay now in this case there are two terms that is omega and second term is what e raise to i theta plus pi by 2 
okay now here you have to consider the product rule first terms and this will be the second term okay now in this case we are considering that whatever this link om will rotates with non uniform angular velocity okay so first term will be in order to take the derivative of this term you have to apply the uv rule that is first term as it is derivative of second second term as it is derivative of first okay now we will uh, see in detail so first term as it is that is omega derivative of second so second term is what e raised to i into theta plus pi by 2 so second term so second term derivative will be what e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 again you have to take the derivative of this i into theta plus pi by 2 so i is constant so that will remain as it is so derivative of this theta will be what d theta upon dt and the derivative of this pi by 2 will be 0 so you will get this i into d theta upon dt so whatever the derivative of this i into theta plus pi by 2 is what i into d theta upon dt plus second term as it is second term as it is that is e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 multiply by derivative of first that is d omega upon dt okay now if i simplify this so whatever this d theta upon dt is nothing but what omega so omega into omega omega square multiply by i so i multiply by e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 so you will get this term as omega square into i into e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 plus d omega upon dt so rate of change of this angular velocity is nothing but what the angular acceleration so you can write d omega upon dt is alpha so alpha into e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 okay now if i consider this term i into e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 if you want to eliminate this i so here you have to add the pi by 2 angle okay so if i eliminate this i so whatever this angle will increase by pi by 2 so e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 okay so whatever this pi by 2 pi by 2 will be pi okay so you can write this equation like this way acceleration of m with respect to r into omega square so whatever this term will replace by this term so omega square into e raised to i theta plus pi okay plus alpha into i alpha into e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 now if i multiply this r inside the bracket so you will get this step which is r into omega square multiply by e raised to i theta plus pi plus r into alpha multiply by e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 now whatever this acceleration consists of this two term okay so whatever this acceleration is nothing but what this first term related to the the centripetal component of acceleration which is also called as the normal component of acceleration or the radial component of acceleration and whatever this second term corresponds to the tangential component of acceleration so keep in mind here we have considered that whatever this low whatever this link om rotates with non-uniform angular velocity means what this angular velocity is going to change with respect to time so whenever you are going to find out the acceleration when the link rotates with non-uniform angular velocity then that acceleration will be equal to what the addition of centripetal component of acceleration and tangential component of acceleration okay so whatever the total acceleration will be equal to what the centripetal component of acceleration plus tangential component of acceleration okay now in this case if i consider this first component that is centripetal component of acceleration it is also called as the normal component of acceleration or the radial component of acceleration now its magnitude will be what so whatever this term corresponds to this term whole term okay so its magnitude will be the magnitude of this centripetal component of acceleration will be what r into omega square and its angle will be what theta plus phi okay similarly if i consider this tangential component of acceleration its corresponding term is what r into alpha into e raised to i theta plus pi by 2 okay so whatever the magnitude of this tangential component of acceleration is what r into alpha and its angle will be theta plus pi by 2 now we have to plot this two position vector that uh, we have to plot this two acceleration vector so first vector is what the centripetal component of acceleration and second component is what the tangential component of acceleration now again we will see this diagram okay now first we will plot this centripetal component of 
first we will plot, plot, the, plot the centripetal component of acceleration now if you see this angle so angle is how much theta plus pi so this theta angle is corresponds to what this theta angle corresponds to the position angle of position vector om so this centripetal component of acceleration will be ahead from this position vector by an angle pi so here you have to draw this line that is centripetal component of acceleration which is at an angle of pi ahead from this position vector om okay so this acceleration will be what the radial component of acceleration or the centripetal component of acceleration okay how we have plot we have seen this angle angle is how much theta plus pi okay so this theta is corresponds to what this theta corresponds to the position vector of om plus pi means what so whatever this acceleration component that is centripetal acceleration component will be ahead by an angle pi from this position vector om so we have plot this along this line okay so keep in mind whatever this radial component of acceleration will be along this om or you can consider the radial component of acceleration is always parallel to this om okay now we have to plot this second component that is tangential component of acceleration of link mo so if you consider this so r into alpha is a magnitude of this tangential component of acceleration and this theta plus pi by 2 is nothing but what angle of this position angle of the position vector of this tangential component of acceleration okay now how to plot this so angle is how much theta plus pi by 2 now if i consider the angle theta so it is corresponding to the position vector of om and this is nothing but what plus pi by 2 means what it is 90 degree ahead from this position vector om so we can plot along this velocity already we have explained whatever this velocity is perpendicular to this om and again this tangential component is also going to perpendicular to this om that is position vector of om so keep in mind this angle is how much theta plus pi by 2 so this theta is nothing but what angle of this position vector plus pi by 2 means what this tangential component of acceleration will be 90 degree ahead from this position vector so whatever this tangential component of acceleration is always perpendicular to this o m okay so by using this concept you can find out the velocity of the link as well as the acceleration of the link okay so while considering the acceleration we have assumed that whatever this omega is not constant okay not constant means what whatever this link om uniform with non-uniform angular velocity whatever this om rotates with the non-uniform angular velocity now if i consider this link rotates with the uniform angular velocity means what whatever this omega will be constant if this omega is constant so in that case whatever this total acceleration will be equal to the centripetal component of acceleration and that will be r into omega square because this value of alpha will be zero if this value of alpha is zero this tangential component of acceleration is zero so keep in mind when this link rotates with non-uniform angular velocity then its acceleration will have the two component of acceleration that is first one is a radial component of acceleration which is also called as the centripetal component of acceleration which is also called as the normal component of acceleration so this will be the first component and second component will be what the tangential component of acceleration okay so radial component is parallel and tangential component is perpendicular now if i consider the second case that is omega is constant so in that case whatever this total acceleration of the link will be equal to what the centripetal component of acceleration so in that case this tangential component of acceleration is zero okay now by using this you can find out the velocity and acceleration by using this complex algebra method okay so hope you have understand my video and i would like to request I would like to request my I would like to request to sub, subscribe my channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos okay thank you